Happily, most classrooms in the United States are now using base 10 blocks for modeling place value in the operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Unfortunately, teachers are complaining that kids are not making the connection between the concrete operations and the abstract representations with the usual math written symbols. These connections don't come automatically. We really have to make explicit connections uh, with the materials side by side and step by step. Unfortunately, that's not usually what happens. Usually when we're trying to make the bridge to do in the written work, we do not have the blocks out on the table. We just have the written work. And we would like kids to recall from yesterday or the day before what we did with the blocks and to talk about it with a written problem. But I happen to think that they're not physically capable of doing that. Because anytime I ask a kid what they did to solve the problem, they always put their hands right back on the blocks, take it apart to where they started, and redo the whole process with the blocks as their roadmap as to what words to say. So I think we have to have the blocks out on the table at the same time that we have the written work. And it's not enough to do the whole problem in the concrete and then the whole problem in the abstract because kids are still not making the connection as to which of these symbols relate to which of these actions we're doing with the blocks. So we really need to have them side by side and do it step by step. Please consider this problem of 37 add 28. I'm going to get out three 10 sticks to put right next to the 30. And I'm going to get out seven ones to put right next to the digit seven. And I will also model the 28 with two 10 sticks and eight ones. We're going to be modeling the traditional algorithm for addition, where we start on the right, and we start by adding 7 plus 8. I will add them together. And I see that when I have these, I have a lot here. I have enough that I can trade for another 10 stick. So I'm going to count out 10 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm going to trade these 10 ones in for a 10 stick. And I'm putting the new 10 stick right above where we have the 30 written because that's where we're going to record it. I've just done one step, but I now have to do some writing to record what we just did. The 7 and 8 was enough for a trade, so we have an extra 10. I'm writing my 1 right where I have that block, and I'm writing the 5 leftovers that I have here in the 1s. Then I'm going to add up the tens. Our three tens and our two tens and our one ten make six tens. And so we have the final answer of 65. Note what I've done is one step with the blocks and record what we did. Another step with the blocks and record what we did. And it's in this process of side by side, step by step, that kids are going to make those explicit connections. There's a one-to-one -one correspondence between what we do with the blocks and what symbols we write on the paper. And when kids have that connection, then they understand what they're doing. The next video is going to show you how you can add a column of figures faster than you can put them into a calculator.